Right now, San Diego police are searching for the shooter who opened fire on two teenagers walking in a Linda Vista neighborhood in the middle of the day. They are OK. Our tenders reporter Rena Nakano joins us on this story. And Rena, this is just the latest report of gunfire in that area. Yeah, that's right. We've actually been to this exact neighborhood several times in the last month, couple of months just for shootings like this one. All of the victims, including this one, are all under the age of 20. Officers study the asphalt, looking for shell casings left behind by a drive-by shooter. I hear like a uh, firework like that, like small fireworks at well, where the party. It's not a party. At around 12.30 p.m., Jesus Martinez heard the commotion and rushed outside, only to find this, his roommate's car completely destroyed. Investigators say a 17-year-old boy and a 16-year-old girl were walking along Morley Street when a person riding a silver sedan drove up and started shooting in their direction. Witnesses we spoke to say the boy shielded the girl by pushing her down and hiding behind the car. She was okay, but the boy was grazed by a bullet in the stomach. Witnesses also saw the shooter fire several rounds into the sky before speeding off toward Linda Vista Road. It is frightening. Neighbor Gustavo Pena says his neighborhood is going through a rough patch. Surprising, it's escalated to this level. This is the fourth shooting 10 News has covered in this area in the last five months. On May 23rd, 16-year-old Carlos Valdivinos was shot and killed on Kelly Street. Then on June 14th, a 20-year-old man and a 15-year-old were shot at Valdivinos makeshift memorial. On August 7th, a 19-year-old man was shot in the arm at Kelly Street Park. And you have no idea what's going on. That is dangerous for, uh, for everybody. Unsettling for neighbors who say they don't want to become the next innocent victim. If this is going to be a trend, of this neighborhood will be known for these kind of crimes. And my fear is it kind of gets ignored, and that's when people will believe, well, it's okay to do a crime in this area. Police say that the victim is already out of the hospital, but they also say that he is being uncooperative. They are also still looking for the shooter's light-cutter sedan. Reporting live in Linda Vista tonight, I'm Rena Nakano, 10 News. Rena, thank you.